Tai Young is prequel to Niche Chinese game She Sweet the Guan 2. It features parkour like the original, but despite upgraded engine in true Tencent fashion, they wanted to cut the budget and make the game smaller. The game's story revolves around one of the main characters from the original game. Mia is Aiden's sister that he seeks out in City of Villador. At its school, we can explore her backstory right now. She wakes up in a well, not feeling well, so she decides to climb well out of this well. When she gets out, she realizes that the game is too fucking loud and graphics are on medium, not on max. Then she gets to explore the map and do girly things like collecting flowers and running on fields. She eventually gets to a twin house belonging to some rich man investing in property. This is a reference to standards of living in Poland as in Villado, tying to the main game. When she climbs onto the roof, she finds out that the place is full of ground. With her being a little girl, she decides to run away, like a little girl. Eventually, she finds a wrench, clearly a Bioshock reference. She beats the rat, names one ratty, and hides him in her pocket. After running for a while, she meets a goon. The Haran virus works differently in this part of the world, and the zombies are more intelligent. She tries to run away, but eventually he catches up to her. Turns out she just passed out on the floor in one of the houses and it was all a dream. She grabs her trusty wrench and marches onto the next place to seek some water and food. She sees a tower in the distance and decides to check out whether the knights are still there. She climbs the tower and as she admired the view, someone started screaming. Turns out someone is trapped beneath the tower and first he's named prisoner, but soon he introduces himself as Michael. This is a clear reference to Prison Mike from The Office. I love the job they did with easter eggs in this game, so far it didn't disappoint. Mia tells Prison Mike that she has to go and won't forget about him, but as soon as she leaves, her ruined attention span guides her to a mansion, forgetting about anything that just happened. When she approaches the mansion, she sees unfriendly soul and decides to pretend to be a tree constantly whispering I'm a tree, don't look at me, eventually sneaking to a guy and killing him. Please don't do that FYI, so if you hear a tree whispering to you, please be cautious. The mansion is closed and there is no way to get in. Guess that's it, I finished the game. No, wait, there's an entrance on the left. Guess it's not over yet. After a quick parkour session, Minga finds a beer stock. Consider finding Water Source Cross. She gets flat drunk on wine and decides to do some more parkour. The mansion is big, but eventually she finds her way to the main room, where she finds bonfire and a bag. This is clearly a reference to Japanese game Kurai Tamashi, where bonfires are save points. After that, she hears barking outside. She runs to check it out and it turns out it's a boss fight room with dog named Bear as a boss. When Mia was 4 years old, she had a dog named Bear, and this boss fight is emotional roller coaster. After defeating the dog, she realizes that the revenge is bad and she should have just left him on his own. This concludes the story as Mia cries over the dog and puts Ratty beside him. She decides to move on from this experience and the camera pans out. It's too bad that it's not explained how she got to Villador or why she was sick, but despite that, the game tells emotional story and that's something that Cheese with the Guan 2 couldn't pull off. Although we don't know what happened to Prison Mike, I'm sure they will introduce him in DLC 2 as side character. <laughs> Thank you.